This is Smith's in action. Smith's whose work touches everybody's lives many times every day. Smith's whose products are at the heart of modern living. The many-sided organization of today was born in 1851 in one small shop in Newington Causeway, London. The shop of Samuel Smith, craftsman watchmaker. With the passage of a hundred years, Samuel Smith's descendants became leaders in the manufacture of instruments, accessories and components for the motor industry, instruments, autopilots and flight control systems for aircraft, industrial ceramics, instruments and process controls, marine navigation equipment including radar, clocks, watches and other timing devices, specialized surgical products and electromedical equipment, and equipment for the modern home. Smiths make more than 3,500 different products. In Britain, there are 26 Smiths factories employing more than 25,000 people. The products of the British factories and those of Smiths Australia, Smiths Canada and Kelvin Hughes USA are handled by more than a thousand agents and distributors all over the world. Let's look at Smiths in the air. Here's BEA's Hawker Sidley Trident. Like other aircraft on the world's major airlines, it has Smiths instruments and flight control system. It is also designed for fully automatic landing with Smith's equipment. Here's a test automatic landing. Under the pilot's watchful supervision, the Smith's installation is now operating the controls. Automatically, the system throttles back. A perfect touchdown without the pilot once actually touching the controls. This is one out of many thousands of test landings accomplished with Smith's equipment. Airline pilots have good reason to be grateful to Smiths. And here's another satisfied customer, though she may not realize how important Smiths is in her life. Smiths make instruments for nine out of 10 British cars, including this MG. British motor manufacturers have relied on Smiths for instruments ever since motoring began. And not only instruments, but car heaters, blue coal antifreeze, KLG and Lodge spark plugs, and a variety of other components and car radios too. More motorists choose radio mobile car radio than any other make. This is an electric clock from Smith's. And the watch on her wrist comes from Smith's too. Another field in which Smith's lead is the manufacture of automatic controls for cookers, washing machines and other domestic appliances. This young lady's oven has just switched itself off with her lunch cooked to perfection. Mmm, delicious. As a matter of fact, if she just looks out of the window, there's a further reminder of Smith's, the P&O Orient Liner, Canberra. The Kelvin Hughes division of Smith's made and supplied Canberra's radar installation. This most advanced equipment projects an enlarged, bright version of the radar display right onto the navigator's plotting table. Photographs of the radar screen are taken, developed, washed, dried and projected at the rate of one every three and a half seconds. Here's an example of the special help given by the Kelvin Hughes division of Smiths to trawlermen, the fish-finding echo sounder. The trawlerman has a strenuous and hazardous life. Luck has always played a big part in it, often bad luck. For all the skipper's skill and experience, trawlers could come home with half-empty homes. Today, Smiths can help. The fish finder sends out sound pulses and records the echoes sent back by the ocean bed, by a sunken wreck, for example, and by a shoal of fish. The latest model is sensitive enough to detect and record a single codfish on the ocean bed at 200 fathoms. That's nearly a quarter of a mile down. With this equipment, the trawler skipper is able to judge accurately the depth of a shoal and its size, thus greatly increasing his chances of coming home with a full hold. 
This means a better living for the fishermen and lower prices for the housewife. The echo principle is also used in the ultrasonic floor detector. A high frequency sound pulse, too shrill for the human ear to hear, is directed into the steel girder or whatever one is testing. Here, it's a massive propeller shaft. An internal crack or other flaw sends back an echo, which is shown on the screen. Smith's specialized knowledge of ultrasonics has produced applications in many fields, some of them perhaps unexpected. Here is an ultrasonic probe being used to investigate the possible displacement of brain tissue. The radiographer can now use the inaudible sound of ultrasonics to supplement the invisible light of X-rays in exploring inside the human body. Here is a more elaborate version of the same apparatus, the diasonograph. Gynecologists can use it to take a photograph which, with skilled interpretation, can confirm with precision the healthy progress of an unborn baby. That's a photograph made by sound. Here's one made by heat. This is a thermograph, a record of the surface temperature of a patient. The equipment, Smith's Pyroscan, is sensitive to even minute differences in temperature. For this demonstration, the girl produces a cold patch on her skin by momentarily applying ice. This is faithfully recorded on the thermograph. Pyroscan has great possibilities in diagnosing severe burns and some forms of cancer in assessing the rate of recovery in rheumatoid arthritis and other conditions where temperature variations are significant. People trust Smith's. Smith's products perform difficult, responsible tasks very well indeed in factories and hospitals and in the home, in every kind of land vehicle, in ships large and small, and in the great airliners of today. And in the world of tomorrow, Smith's research, Smith's technology and Smith's industrial capacity are already helping to shape tomorrow's surprising and exciting world. In the space age too, Smith's will be at the heart of things. <laughs>